Hello, I'm Kevin, creator of the PicSynth. Today I'm going to show you all of the functions of the PicSynth. Um, starting with the oscillators, this is oscillator 1, um, and I've got it set to a square wave, 50-50. Um, let's start with the low setting, which is 32 feet. And 16 feet, which is the medium setting. and high, which corresponds to 8 feet. OK, let's look at oscillator 1 sawtooth wave. And a medium. And a high, which is 8 feet. Now let's have a look at oscillator 1 triangle wave at those same foot settings. OK, let's move on to the pulse width adjustment square wave on oscillator 1. Now I'm going to change the pitch. Um, this is the fine-tuned pitch on oscillator 1. OK, now I'm going to bring in oscillator 2 along with oscillator 1. Um, this is when you really start getting a great sound. Let's do 250-50 um, square waves and let's detune. Okay, let's um, do the same with the sawtooth. Now let's change the octave settings. Um, this is a pulse wave, 25%, mixed in with a uh, sawtooth. This is the low setting. Medium. And high. So now I'm going to move on to the filter amplify module. This has an envelope generator uh, with attack and decay, uh, filter cutoff frequency, um, and resonance on and off. So let's listen to the PicSense filter. Let's turn on the resonance. And if we turn it all the way up, then you'll get self oscillation. Okay, now I'm going to look at oscillator 3. This is a um, new oscillator. Let's look at the um, sawtooth in the low setting. Medium. Oops, that was high. Medium. And this is high. Which is actually right up to uh, four feet. Uh, the great thing about this oscillator is you can have uh, pulse width modulation. So let's do that. Uh, so this is a square wave, medium square wave. And let's adjust the pulse width um, modulation speed. And the pulse width modulation depth. Uh, you notice you can make the uh, pulse disappear completely. Uh, that's with um, the depth at the lowest setting. So that's a nice 
effect cell. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate how we um, combine all the oscillators together to get um, some really great sounds. Um, let's start with oscillator 3 and pulse width modulation. Okay, now let's mix in some of oscillator 1 um, pulse. Now let's bring in oscillator 2's triangle one octave down. And that's the completed string sound. Here's another example of combining oscillators together. Um, let's start with a high um, pulse width modulator on, on oscillator 3. Let's um, just adjust that so that the level is only just coming up. Now let's mix in two low triangles. Now you can move the, the, the pulse width modulation speed up to get some pretty crazy effects. Let's listen to this. had some filtering to complete the sound. Okay, now we're going to look at um, some of the other features. Um, these are controlled by the um, 12 buttons. Um, Portamento. That's the fastest setting. Let's change it to the medium and the slow. Okay, now we're going to look at the arpeggiator. Uh, let's turn it on and uh, let's hold down E. And let's hold down E and E one octave higher. Now an E minor chord. Let's change E minor to E major. Let's go back to our E minor chord and have a play around with the oscillators. Um, how I do this is I press the hold button. play around with the arpeggiator some more. This is the sound of two triangles and pulse width modulation. I'm going to change the direction of the arpeggiator. This is the up direction. And down. And up, down. a few little chords and turn the arpeggiator speed right up. So that concludes the Pixit demo. Thanks for listening. Let's outtake with the arpeggiator. <laughs>